Good morning, everyone. This is James Nussbaumer of jamesnussbaumer.com. And why is it that many of us, much of the world, let me say, continues to live a life of despair instead of listening to their hearts and, and, making, their, and making that their mission in life? You know, in my books, I'm a proud author of The Master of Everything, a story of mankind and the world of illusion we call life. And I'm this is the pilot of an ever-developing series, and I'm also proud to announce its companion that just came out called Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom. And this really is a book that brings the world together. But these two companion books I'm so proud of are on sale everywhere books are sold and published by Ozark Mountain Publishing Company. And what I discuss in both these books in great detail is the reason that we have a mind that is conditioned to always be active in relating to the outward projections that others make or that the world makes for us. And those images are of an imprisoned world. In other words, where we're chained and shackled to the way things are supposed to be. You know, it's, and we make that our own seeming reality. And it seems that we are afraid to go within ourselves, deep within ourselves. For example, for many years, uh, which I discuss in both of these books, um, I spent uh, time as a financial advisor for 25 years, and it was simply a business that I, I loathed. I just got complacent in that business. I really didn't want to be there. I started making mistakes, and I crossed an illegal line, which many of you who know me know, that sent me to prison for eight years for a foolish securities violation. And in that pre- prison state of panic, it was impossible for me to look inward during those periods of years in business. And, and it, it took my time in business and, and all the writing that I was doing, which is where these books were born. Um, and all that time, I never really knew my true reality. And, and I perceived fearful consequences from something outside of me, something out there that was ready to harm me. I, I was using my ego-based mind which is those, it's a projected thought system, system of what's really not there, which are those projections of the world that, that, that develop our own earthly psyche, which is separate from what we really are inside. And we use that earthly psyche as that ego, as our guide for defense or for blaming or making excuses why not to take action and doing what it is we really want in life. Well, this self-made ego did not want me to realize my true self, nor did it wish for me to look inward. Does that sound familiar at all? It always, I always kept my focus on promises, like I said, out there. The ego, which does not know anything because it is nothing, was showing me that help was to be found outside of myself. You know, listening to the world and, and listening to uh, the heirs of history, and which when we do that, we just fall into that trap of, that's why history repeats itself, because we continue to make the same errors, not living a life of our true free will. You know, so this is the type of thought system that keeps us from going after what it is we truly want in life. <clears throat> so go with your heart, and uh, you'll find how to go with your heart in both of these books. And let me add that, that I'm using a system uh, that helps me get what I want. It helps me market my books, my craft. And it's, it, I use this system to claim true abundance and abundant living in my life, and it's really set me free. If you'd like to know more, in the below uh, in this YouTube video uh, is a link to my website, my Real Abundance page uh, at my website. And if you're watching this video at my blog, there's also a big button down below that says uh, something like, yeah, let me know more. And there's some links in my blog, too, that you can click to check this out. So I hope this was informative and um, Thanks for listening to me again, and I forgot to say in the beginning uh, that this is part of my Freedom Lover and Miracles blog. So I hope it was beneficial, and thanks for putting up with me for these few minutes, and I hope to maybe chat with you sometime. Thank you for listening.